Hey, yeah, I heard that Joe Picks was making homemade custom lock picks. So I reached out to him and asked him if he'd make me a couple. And so Joe said he could do this for me. I sent him a couple of ideas and specifications, and he sent back these impossible handles. I wanted maybe a handle that I can pick both up or down, depending, you know. So I chose a sort of more symmetric handle. And you can see here how the sort of tips that I want I wanted one, you know, both of them sort of rounded at the top, but one like an offset hybrid, but lifted up much more. And so it's curved as well. So it's strong. And he went ahead and started making them. And he did lots of sanding. Time for the oil bath. Finished product. There's a selection of materials that I could have chosen but I've always liked the feel of wood in my hand and I'm happy with what I got. Looks beautiful. That looks really nice and strong. The type of metal he uses is 18 thousandths of an inch, which means that it can fit in slightly tighter keyways, but still be really strong the way he's designed it. This is a lock that I know well, and since it's thin, I can reach right from the bottom to and angle it up to the top of the pins. And uh, because it's curved, I can drag it along and see which ones are binding. And I can, in fact, I should be able to just go along the pin stack and click, 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 click. Click, click, and it's open. So that's pretty easy. So it's a really nice lock. I'm going to do that again. Okay, going to go click, click, click. And it's open again. So, you know, it's it works really well, too well, because it takes the challenge out of a look like this. Um, I've got other lock picks that raise up at the end into a sort of ball, which also would work well. But um, some of them don't tend to last very long. But this being curved, you know, it's really well designed. And yet it's thin enough this way that it can really get get up to get those pins that need to be lifted right up. And because sometimes with the, just a flat offset hybrid, I can't lift it up without oversetting other pins. But this is a really good compromise for some locks.